Welcome to the Huckleberry Gym, where we're going to be making a drink for Who Goes There. Our game we're going to be streaming this Sunday night on Twitch, so make sure you get into the, the links. We'll add a link at the end of the video and the descriptions below. But have a look, um, and we're going to be having this drink while we play. Be strong. So, handing over to Dan, how do we make the Huckleberry Gin? Alright, hi guys. So, for this one, we'll be inspired by the Ding, which is the main villain of Who Goes There. Sort of this big purple demon monster. So, we thought we'd try and go for something purple. The drink's a lot less evil than the demon, we hope. Uh, so, we're going to start off with two slices of cucumber, chuck them in our shaker. I'm going to use our muddler. This is just sort of like a wooden tool, it's got some little spikes on the bottom. If you don't have one of these, any sort of rolling pin. Anything in sort of a flat end will work. And you're just sort of trying to break up the cucumber, get a bit of the juice out, and just sort of break it up a little bit. So once that's done, we get into the fun stuff. We've got our gin. So we're going to go with two shots of this. So this is the only booze that goes into it, so we can want to make sure everyone can taste it. It's quite a tall drink as well, so it's served in a highball glass. There's going to be a lot of other stuff going into this, but it tastes good. Next we got the blueberry syrup. So we actually make this at home. Holly, who you might know from the stream, is really good at making these infused simple syrups. So she made this one. If you can't make it yourself, feel free to buy it from somewhere. Rial and Monin make really good syrups. Or just look up how to make stuff online. It's a pretty simple process once you get the hang of it. So. You can have a lot of fun with that and make a lot of different flavors. I know we've been experimenting with a lot recently. Next, we get our lime juice. Again, we use the pouches just because they're nice and easy. Go in with a shot of that. And get some cranberry juice. And have a shot of that as well. So this is gonna give a lot of that red flavor between blueberry and cranberry. Yeah. Yeah, so you get, it's a nice balance as well, it's sort of got the sweet, the sour, and then sort of that cranberry to sort of like add another layer of fruitiness to it. Next we're going to get our ice, and we're just going to drop this in. So this one is a shaking cocktail. Shaking it basically just helps get it cold, dilutes it a little bit, helps if you keep the lid on. And it's basically just going to make our drink ready to go, so if we want to get the glass ready while we shake this one. We are actually going to be using the hard water, um, and Dan has provided a nice long ice cube for it. So, how did you make that ice cube? Uh, so, for that, uh, it's pretty easy to make, very clear ice. Uh, you just use what's called the Esky method. If you want to look that up online, there's heaps of stuff out there. It's a pretty simple process to make a clear ice. So, just yeah, look it up online, you'll find something really easy. It'll be great. So, now we're just going to strain this in. So again, we've got our highball glass. And you see, look at that beautiful purple colour. Get a nice bit of pie on the floor. You want to fill it up not quite to the top. You can see it matches there quite well. Don't need that anymore. And then we just top it up with a bit of soda water. So we just got a little bit of soda water. It's just going to help keep it fresh, keep it juicy, keep it fun. A little bit of cucumber on top just to make it look pretty. And if you're feeling extra bougie, get some of your blueberry syrup and just sort of drizzle it on. This is going to sort of give that blood dripping effect. And that, and there we go, this is the Huckleberry Gin. Hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure, let us know if you guys decide to make this one. It's pretty easy to make, very refreshing, very good in summer. We're in Australia at the moment, so it's very warm for us. It's delicious. Beautiful. So what does it taste like? Well, let's jump in and have a taste. So I'm going to eat the cucumber, but we'll have a sip first and give you some tasting notes on it. Yeah. Is this your first or second time trying this? I've, I've had this drink quite a lot. I, I quite like it. You can definitely taste the cake cucumber, but it's not overpowered. It's a good flavour. Yeah, you don't need much cucumber. It's, it's, you don't think it's a strong flavour, but it really comes through. And I just ate cucumber, so. That That also helps. So where do you think it's getting um, like the high notes within the game that when we're playing a game like this? Mm -hmm. It's kind of going to remind you of the pending doom you've got. 
I think really the colour is the big one. I mean, you're going to see the game, see the colour of that and think, oh, it's all dark and mysterious. Then take a sip of that and you're like, oh, no, we're okay. We're okay. That, that's your calming moment. It doesn't have a huge aroma, though. It doesn't no. have a lot of smell to it. No. Well, it's, it's not a punchy drink either. It's not one of those big flavour pack drinks. It's just light, refreshing. I think you do need to be careful and make sure that the lime doesn't cut through. Yeah. If you add too much lime. Um, yeah, mm. we, we use patch lime, which is a lot easier, but if you're, you know, straining out the, the lime juice yourself, um, yeah, make sure it's the balance. Yeah. It also depends on what syrup you use as well. The, the one we're using, we use the homemade one, so we sort of know where the balance is with that, and we have a lot of control over that. If you're using one that's bought, a lot of the times they're a bit sweeter, so they have more shelf life. So, just sort of taste it. If you're ever in doubt, put in a little less. You can always add more later, and it'll just... You know, if you finish that and you're like, oh, it's not quite right, add a little more, stir it in, it'll be fine. It's a great way to sort of experiment with new drinks. Beautiful. Well, that is the Huckleberry Gin, which we'll be drinking on our Who Goes There stream on our Twitch channel. We'll add all of the links um, in the bottom left-hand corner to our Twitch, our YouTube, our all of our social media platforms. But make sure you join us for our live stream. I'll add a link into the right at the top here hopefully it's shown up already um and, and you'll actually be able to look at and watch us play and drink this drink um on our live stream and down the bottom we'll actually add a link and video to our how to play on who goes there make sure you drink responsibly and enjoy the huckleberry gin with who goes there thanks, thanks for playing.